Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So for today I'm super duper duper excited to be bringing you my makeup collection as you would have seen from my previous video and now. Obviously this video I have finished my room and gotten the Alex 9 drawers so I'm very grateful for all of the makeup that I do have and the way that it's all displayed you know I'm very grateful I'm not trying to brag in any way shape or form and all of this makeup I have brought myself unless it has been gifted to me for my birthday or Christmas so yeah, I was like, it's been about a year since I've done this video, why not to do it again? And, um, I love watching these videos, so I was like, I'm gonna do one for you today. So if you do like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. But without that being said, let's get into the video. <laughs> This is the way that my makeup collection is stored. Of course, it's in the Alex 9 drawers. But I'm going to start by taking you through my top and what's on there. So I do have a candle and a candle holder over there, which I absolutely love. I think it looks so nice and gives it a bit of height. And then I have my makeup brushes. I have them in these IKEA pot plants. And my face brushes are in this big one, so I have a whole bunch from Real Techniques, Sports Girl, Morphe. Most of them are from Morphe because I got a massive set from there, but the others are from Real Techniques. And then my eye brushes are kept in here, and the same goes. There's a few from Wish, you know, just any really where I found them. And then I have my Micellar Cleansing Water and my Gucci Bloom Perfume. This, These are both incredible <laughs> and then I also have this um, Ikea Skura pot plant which I keep all my jewelry on and um, usually I'm wearing them but just on a night I like to put them here so they don't get lost or tangled but the first drawer is my skincare drawer and this is a bit packed but you know what this is the drawer I come to after the shower where I just basically use everything here and make myself feel pampered so down the side here, I have my Mario Badescu facial sprays. I love these to death. I'm trying to use up my Rose Water one, but the Cucumber one is definitely my favorite. And then I have a few Clinique products. So I've got this moisturizer, which is a sample of this bigger one here. And I've also got these headache patches, which are amazing. Moving over here, I've got these Nivea 4 um, like moisturizing things. I've heard these are so good. So I actually went and picked them up today But you can like mix two of them together to create your own, you know, so I was like, mm, I'm gonna go and try these out Then here I've got a little pot which holds all these cotton pads for when I'm using my micellar water on the top and Then I've also got this Garnier on the go one so that when I'm traveling I can just take that one instead of taking that massive one up there But then I just have this tea tree oil face cream which I will use when my face is breaking out more instead of this one But this is amazing guys it honestly is so I've got another little Clinique thing here. There's just a whole bunch of samples under here. Um, you know when you buy something and you can pick like five free samples. I just keep those in here. And then I do have a lighter for my candles in my room. And then taking it back a notch, I just have my face wipes because they're so ugly. So they just sit at the back. And then I've got heaps and heaps of face masks. We've got some lip masks. We've got some sheet masks, eye masks, hair masks, just any. And then I have three pot ones back there. So... They just stay at the back for a pamper night. And over here, I just have all these different creams that I need to remind myself to use. So I've got some bio oil for my acne scarring. I've got some ear drops because my ears clog up so much and it's not very good. I have some eye cream, some pseudo cream, anything really. So that there is my first just skincare drawer. And I, of course, it doesn't shut. 
And I love this drawer, but my second drawer is probably one of my favorites. This one here is my foundations and setting sprays drawers. So I like to have them all, you know, laid out so I can actually see what is going on because before in my Alex Strap 5 drawers I just had them all in one tub and I couldn't see what I had. This way I can actually use them up. So we've got some Too Faced, some Inglot, BH Cosmetics, Fenty Beauty, Clinique. I've got some stick foundations. We've got Revlon and Tarte. Then these are all Maybelline and Elf. And then in this tub here, I like to keep all my tubed ones. So I've got L'Oreal, we've got CoverGirl, we've got Elf. Essence, literally any brand, um, but this here is just a little mecca oil that I got for my birthday, which I thought that would be good to try blending in with some foundations, you know, just to make them look a bit more dewier. Then down the front here, I do have some Astralis Matchmaker, you know, drops, so to lighten or darken if I'm doing someone in my family's makeup or just anything they're good to have in your collection. But taking it back a little, I have my three MAC sprays. These are amazing. I've got Astralis, NYX, I've got Urban Decay. This cherry one is incredible. And I've got Revolution Pro. So that is my second drawer. Moving on to my third drawer. This one here is primers, concealers, and powders. So here my primer collection has been growing rapidly because I've been loving these lately. We've got some Elf, Tarte, Smashbox, some more Smashbox, some Maybelline, L'Oreal. This one here is my absolute holy grail. It's the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Primer. It's mm, 10 out of 10. Um, and then some Fasali Drops. These are also amazing. We've got some Maybelline. Where else? We've got some Benefit, and we've got more Smashbox. There's just a whole, whole bunch in here. Moving over to my concealers, we've got some Rimmel, we've got Maybelline, there's some Essence, we've got, what else? There's some more Maybelline. This one here is a MAC LA Girl. This one is actually pretty good. I haven't actually tried it for a while. Then back here we've got some pot concealers, so I've got Benefit, NYX, and this one here is a little MAC Pro Longwear Pack Pot, which is amazing. Then taking it back a little, we've got correctors, so I've got an L Quad, I've got LA Girl Pro again, and a little Becca Pot. And for my powders, this one here is also a growing collection. I've got my Too Faced Peach Perfect, which is right up the front because it's amazing. I've got the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, which is super rare in Australia. So if you can get your hands on this, definitely do. Then back there, I've got my Australis Powder, which is amazing. We've got some NYX, my RCMA Powder. You know, these are just good, good products. Moving on to my fourth drawer, I've got my bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. So down the side here, I've just got this brush that I like to use when I'm blending in my cream contours. And for those, I have my Fenty Beauty Stick and my NYX Wonder Stick. And then for powdered bronzers, I've got CoverGirl, we've got Physician's Formula, Elf, and Bourjois. And for blushes, I've got a little NYX one, we've got NARS. This one's Tarte, CoverGirl, and Sports Girl. And then highlighters, this one here is my favourite. So I've got three Becca ones, one liquid one, another Becca one. We've got Inglot, MAC Soft and Gentle. This is a holy grail. And as well as the Fenty Beauty, this one's in Mean Money and Hustler Baby. I love it. And then Sports Girl again. So moving down onto the last skinny drawer, this one here is my tools, brows, and mascaras. So starting off over on mascaras, I've got a whole bunch. We've got Revolu Revolution, <laughs> Revlon, we've got some Tarte, some Maybelline, new ones that I haven't tried out, more Maybelline in Australia, Maybelline Kill the Game, lovely. Um, we've also got some Too Faced, little minis. I've also got the waterproof better than sex. So then I've got brows. So we've got all the brands. We've got Essence, Benefit, Chi Chi, Elf, more Benefit. Taking it back, we've got Essence, Anastasia, Maybelline, you know, that just just everything. <laughs> 
And then over here I like to keep some tools just on the go. So here we've got some eyelid primer from e.l.f. and NYX. We've got eyelash tweezers. We've got little mini sponges. We've got duo lash glue. I've got Inglot Duraline. This stuff is incredible. Any pot products, especially this Chi Chi brow pomade, I find it dries out a lot, but I'll just pop a little drop of this, and it's like I brought it brand new, honestly. Definitely recommend going and getting that. And then back here, these are just new products. So I've got some tweezers and some... What is this, actually? Oh, it's just this cuticle hand thing that I'm just keeping back there for now. Moving down onto the first bigger drawer, this is the finishing of my eye products. So I've got all my lashes, eyeliners, and pigments. So over here, I've got some duos. There's some Stila, BYS, Inglot. There's a few MAC in here, Australis. You know, this container is like bulging. It's like getting to the max. And then I've got my eyeliner. So I've got the Quick Flick, we've got Tarte, NYX, Savvy, um, what's this? This is Tarte as well. Just a whole bunch in there. I don't really use these that often as to why it's not, you know, that full. And then I've got my lashes. I've got some Glam lashes. These ones sound really nice. We've got MAC, Tarte, and then these were my first collab. So these are the Magnetic Lashes. I'll leave these in the cards above, but... It's so hard to open. Um, these are the magnetic lashes. They are so, so pretty. And then down the side, I've just kept the packaging because it was my first PR, you know, just a little something to remember. So then moving down, this one is my ultimate favorite. This is my palettes drawer. I love this and the way it looks. So I'm just going to talk you through some of them quickly. So we've got Chi Chi, Take Me Back to Brazil. This one's my Holy Grail, Too Faced Natural Face. We've got Becca, Jaclyn Hill, um, Australis, Zoeva. This one's the Huda Beauty. We've got Models Prefer. This one was like 10 bucks. And oh my gosh, this one is such a good palette for the price. Look at how pretty that is. I'm sorry, what? Um, what else is there? There's the Soph X Revolution palette. This one's the Just Peachy Mattes palette. We've got Too Faced. No, not Too Faced. This one here is a little tart one. Two Elf Quads. Um, and then we've got Modern Renaissance and Soft Glam, which is broken. Like, I don't know why I'm opening this, but, yep, broken. So, I'm pretty sad about that one. Uh, I've got a MAC Nutcracker. This one is Maybelline. Pretty Beauty Snakey Obsessions. This one's incredible, but it's also broken. Like, uh... Someone's calling me. Then at the back, we've got the Jaclyn Hill palette, which has been absolutely used. And then my James Charles palette. This one's incredible. So moving down onto the last drawer of makeup. This one's my lip drawer. And it is, trust me, a work in progress. So my lip liners here um, are all just random places. Rimmel, Chi Chi, Maybelline, and then just a whole bunch from, you know, eBay. And then here I've got my absolute favourites. These ones are incredible. The Too Faced Melted Matte Lipsticks. Oh, they are my favourites. We've got some Maybelline. Behind here we've got Kylie Cosmetics. Um, we've got NYX. Tarte, Anastasia, literally everything in here. And then these two, I'm working to fill this up with MAC lipsticks. I've got Velvet Teddy and Pulteney. And um, yeah, that collection is going well. And then my last drawer is my tanning drawer. And um, just a whole bunch of random things. So I've got these makeup pads. And then back there, I've got my MAC charger and my camera charger. And then I've got my Bondi Sands. This is my favorite. Some exfoliating mitts, tan eraser, um, and then just applicator. So that is my Alex 9 Drawers.
collection. So that is my finished makeup collection. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. Once again, I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape or form. And yeah, I will see you tomorrow morning for a brand new video. Bye.